12.9% versus 3.09. Are you fucking kidding me? Trying to finesse me, bro. <sighs> Adulting is so much fun. I love it. It's so great. Okay, let me stop being so sarcastic. It's actually really fun. I love being an adult. I'm so grateful that I'm in the position that I'm in. I feel like things are going really well, but I feel like school did not prepare us to adult. There's a lot of things that I'm still, like I'm 23 years old. I graduated from college like over a year ago now, and I still feel super dumb when it comes to a lot of things. Like, I talked about this a few months back and I told you guys that I was gonna take you guys with me as I start learning things about adulthood and as I start figuring out things and navigating this adult world. I really wanna like make this into a series or something, but I just feel like I'm, I'm learning a lot of things as I'm getting older and I really wanna like share my experience with you guys because not only do I think it'll be educational, but I also think it's kind of funny to realize how much shit we are not prepared to do um, as adults because school doesn't teach us shit. So one of the first things that I did um, this year was buy myself a car. I've been wanting a new car for a while now. I paid off about half of my student loan debt. Like I paid off all my private student loan debt back in, was it February? And I promised myself I would reward myself with a car. So here we are. I'm gonna give you guys a car tour, of course. I really wanna show you guys my new Jeep. But before we do that, I wanna show you guys my experience, I wanna show you guys that it's okay to feel stupid, it's okay to not understand how things work because I didn't. So let's go ahead and rewind back to what, like two weeks ago when I bought my car. So it's that time. I found, I think, one that I really want. And it's exactly what I'm looking for. It has leather seats, it's a 2018, and what else does it have? It's black, which is exciting. Um, and it's $36,000, which is under my budget. So I was shocked that it was that cheap and there was only two pictures on the website. So I called the dealership yesterday, like last night, right before they closed. And I was like, can you send me a picture of the entertainment system? Cause like that was like my main concern. Send me a picture. I woke up this morning to a picture from the dealership. The entertainment system is exactly what I'm looking for. So that being said, I think I found my car. So as far as the buying process goes, the most important thing right now that I really need to think about to buy the car obviously is getting it financed, right? So I have a certain amount down that I have ready to pay like in cash for the car. And I think I'm gonna share that number with you just cause I really wanna be transparent on exactly what this process looks like. I have 10K ready to pay down. So that means I need to get $26,000 financed through my bank, right? So I'm gonna apply through my bank that I bank with cause I trust them the most. I feel like I'll get the best interest rate and I'm going to try to get an auto loan through them. The thing about an auto loan though is when you apply for an auto loan, it hits your credit. So your credit does get like a ding on it. Like it basically like kind of like, I think you like lose points or something whenever you apply for a big loan like that. So I need to be careful cause I need to make sure that I'm actually ready to buy a car before I do this loan, right? So that being said, before I go over and drive to go see it because I really wanna go ahead and just lock this down right now, I think I'm gonna call my bank and see if I can get pre-approved for a loan. So that way I can like see, like I can know, okay, when I get there, I'm ready to buy. Let's go ahead and get this started, right? Perfect, your just pulling up for I just wanted to see if it's possible to get pre-approved before running the application or how exactly, or if you have like any other information, that'd be awesome. Uh, so as far as pre we don't necessarily have that. We do have like, you know, where you can apply and it runs your credit and then you go you get and then you can kind of run with that with us. And, you know, go to different places. And okay, so if I, okay, and I'm sorry, I know this is probably me asking like the most like basic questions, but if I go through the application and I, like I have a car in mind that I'm gonna go look at today, but if that car, like if the car that I end up going with changes, it, it's not approved based on the exact car that I pick, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay. It'd be totally fine to adjust it. As long as you don't sign documents or have the documents sent to you, then you should be good to adjust. That makes sense. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'll just go through, it looks like online, it looks pretty easy, so I'll just go through that. Yeah, thank you so much, have a good one. Okay, I just don't know what to do because do I do the application right now? Even though I haven't, I feel like I know I'm definitely buying a car within the next 30 days and they say the application stands for 30 days. Guys, I feel like so dumb. I'm so confused. I'm gonna see what my mom says. I think I should do the application now. Okay, it says it's reviewing my application. I just submitted it. Okay, I just got my approval. You are approved up to $32,000. So that's perfect because with my down payment, I 
am over what I need for this approval amount. So this is really exciting. So if I borrow 28,000, I will have monthly payments of $513 a month for a term of 60 months at 3.09%. APR, which is my interest rate. So this is great because y'all, when I went to go test drive at that first dealership in Austin, you know what interest rate they were trying to give me? 12%, 12.6. I have the, actually the paper right here. Let's see what they were trying to give me. 12.9% versus 3.09. Are you fucking kidding me? Trying to finesse me, bro. So I feel good. I don't know if I, I don't think I need to do anything else yet. Cause again, I don't have a vehicle picked out yet, but I'm going to go to the dealership. We're going to see how we feel about it. And if we like it enough, then we probably will buy it today. Ah. You guys, I'm in love. Like I just drove it and sorry. <laughs> I love it. I think this might be the one. I think I want to buy it. Like, I think I'm ready. We're getting started, like talking through everything. Um, they're actually looking at my car right now just to see what the value might be if I want to trade it in. I'm not expecting much because my car is such a like hoopty. Um, but they're looking at it like just to see like the mileage and stuff. I didn't take good care of it. So I don't know how much I'm really gonna get, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. We're probably gonna go back in the office and talk numbers and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, yay. Okay, so let me just say I didn't expect to buy the car that day. I didn't know that you could show up to a car dealership, test drive a car, and go home with it that day. I didn't know that was a thing. I honestly thought that it would take like a few weeks to get everything done, to get the approval done. But because I had um, gone in and applied for my auto loan before I got to the dealership, I was actually able to take it home that day. Also, the other thing that I didn't record, when you get an auto loan, right? Obviously you can get it from a bank or you can get it through the dealership. And what I learned from this whole experience is get it through your bank, get it through a trusted bank because the dealership, especially if you're younger, especially if you're like, they know that it's your first time buying a car, they'll try to finesse you. So it's like, you're basically just working with your bank or whoever you choose to get your auto loan from to finance the car. So that all to say, I got my car and I'm going to show it to you guys right now. I'm really excited. Okay, let's go. Life is good. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Okay, I'm out of breath from running. Okay, this is it. It's a 2018 black, as you guys can see, black um, Jeep Wrangler Sahara. Um, if you guys know anything about Jeeps, basically the Sahara is just like a little bit more like sleek. It has like the painted, like instead of like the plastic here, it's painted. It has like the, you guys will see the interior it looks like a little bit different than like some of the other Jeeps. There's actually another one right there. You guys can see like kind of the difference, um, but yeah, this is her. I'm really excited about it. I haven't named her yet. I don't know. I'm not really into like naming cars, but I know people do that. So maybe I'll do that. How cute. They detailed it. You guys can see like from the footage, it was a lot cleaner the day that I got it. It's been raining, so it's already dirty. So I'm gonna have to wash it, but it's like a little close up. It's the hard top. As you guys can see, this is the back seat. Um, I have my little Buddha. I don't know if you guys ever knew this, but I have this like little Buddha in my Honda. So I just kept it there kind of as like a little memento, especially cause like my friends who rode around my Honda always knew the little Buddha. So I think it'd be kind of funny to like keep him in the back. I don't know, I might take it out, but yeah, this is the back seat. It's windy, sorry. This is the trunk. Oh my God, it's so messy. I don't want to talk about it. These are clothes that I need to donate to Goodwill. So it's not trash. Nice and spacious. You guys can see it opens like this. This is the inside. Ah! Um, definitely I've been living in it a little bit not living in it but you know like I you can see there's like more of my mess in it now um, I kept my hair let's just get inside the inside is exactly what I was looking for the main thing that I really wanted when I was shopping around for cars and I will say I sh probably should have gave more detail about like where I looked first thing I looked at when I first started shopping for Jeeps was Carvana so I kind of had like an idea of like what price I wanted to pay but then I went to the dealership that was closest to me and their prices like were a little bit higher. So then I went on Carfax and then I found this one on Carfax. So this is actually at a dealership out in Bastrop, Texas, which is a little bit further out from Austin. It's like maybe a 30 minute, 40 minute drive. So I found this there. It's exactly what I wanted. So basically what I was going to say was um, this console, the main thing that I was looking for when I was looking on Carfax, I really wanted the console to be upgraded. So this one that I first test drove, um, before this one didn't have this little like touchscreen console. It was kind of like a little bit more outdated. So I was really looking for this, which I'm really, really happy with. I'm really happy with the leather seats because that's another thing that I was really prioritizing. Um, I also was prioritizing the car being black, so I'm happy with this. Oh yeah, let me show you guys what I have in here. So I have my little lip oil that I keep in my car. I have my gum right here as well that I always keep gum. I always keep gum in my car. And then this is a little bit messy. I just have a water in here and then I have like a ring. Um, but... 
yeah, that's my car. This also is like a little charger here. It's Bluetooth. So I just like, I have my phone hooked up at all times. Um, I need to plug in these Glade things, but I just got these Glade. Why am I so out of breath? Okay. I just got this Glade to put in here to make it smell good, but it already still smells like a new car. This has been used before. It's like a used car, but it smells new. So I might wait to put these on until like a little bit later. But I have these for now. This is the console right here. So I'm just keeping my lotion. I put the Glade in here. I have a bunch of old CDs for my Honda. Um, I might take these out because I don't ever use them. But it's cool to have them here. And then in this one, I have my masks, which I need to kind of clean up. Giving car tours is tiring. Holy shit, I'm tired. So, yeah, that's my Jeep, you guys. Ah! we did it we got a jeep i've been saying i was gonna do this for months now if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time if you guys have seen this whole journey of me i don't know I, this just kind of feels surreal to me because it's like if you guys have been here since i was in college like i was broke i was broke for a long time and the fact that i could even afford this the fact that i could put a down payment on it the fact that i got approved for a finance for an auto loan by myself without my mom being on it that shit is crazy. So I just feel really amazing, like knowing that I was able to do this myself. The other thing I will say is that I did get a, um, I did get car insurance. So I t got off my mom's car insurance. I know I'm freaking 23 and I'm just now paying my own car insurance. I'm very privileged and grateful for that as well. Like the fact that my mom was paying that for so long is amazing. So, um, yeah, I got off my car, my mom's car insurance. I basically had her walk me through the entire process of getting car insurance because so like how much you want for like personal liability, how much you want for like, uh, I can't even remember, like auto replacement or whatever. There's like all these like little things that I would have. Like the thing is that's so crazy is like if I didn't have my parents to explain this kind of shit, I don't know where the fuck I would be because it's like there's so many even like on the, my car insurance application or whatever there's so many things that like I didn't even know what they meant and my mom literally like off the top of her head was like okay pick 100 for this one 300 for this 400 for this blah 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 and I'm like how like what what how would I know what how the fuck would I know this stuff I made a video a few months back about adulting and someone commented on it they were like well it's your parents job to teach you this kind of stuff not school and I'm like you guys have to really think about the fact that like the fact that I even have two parents who are in my life is a privilege in itself right and it's like there's people out there who don't have their parents in their lives there's also people out there who don't have parents who have done these things like buy a car there's people whose parents are immigrants there's people whose parents are low income and just like don't don't have the ability to go buy themselves a car there's people who have parents who don't even have the knowledge on these things themselves right so like the fact that we even have or the fact that i even have parents to like explain these things to me is a privilege right so we have to recognize that like living in a country where we're not taught these things in school it already creates inequity because you are basically relying on generational wealth and generational knowledge of these kinds of things to figure things out yourself especially like with black people in america like my parents there's not a lot of generations of like wealth there there's not a lot of generations of you know people just knowing how to buy a car or buy a house like i'm pretty sure my mom and my dad had to figure out all that shit on their own right so it's like yes i totally agree like if your parents know how to do things they should really like help you and walk you through those things and like you know teach you how to be independent and teach you how to be an adult and all the and all those things but that alone is a privilege in itself, right? Like, let's be real. It's purposeful that we don't learn these things in school, right? Because it keeps the people who are rich, rich, and it keeps the people who are poor, poor. If you don't know how to do things, if you don't know how to buy a house, if you don't know how credit works when you're growing up in a low-income household and you go to a department store and they offer you a discount for applying for a credit card and you go and do that every time you go shopping, then you don't realize that that dings your credit every single time. No wonder you have shitty credit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it really creates inequities in our country when our our school system doesn't teach us very basic skills about how to manage our money about how to manage credit how to get credit how to get good credit right it's like you 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 should learn those things in school we should know how to do these things by now i shouldn't have to figure this out um at 23 and feel stupid because i never have done it before you know what i'm saying like to me it's just kind of dumb so i'm gonna stop rambling because again you guys know how i am i could talk about this shit all day but i will say i'm grateful i am very very privileged and I am just very, very thankful for you guys for the support and just like the fact that I'm even here is just crazy to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.